Welcome to Mary's Creative Decor and Furniture Redesigned. If you're interested in arts and crafts, modern wall art, upholstery, decorating and home decor, and furniture redesign, you're in the right place. And here's a look at the canvases I'll be using for today's project. I have two canvases, eight by 16, and one canvas, 16 by 24. Here's a look at the inspiration piece for this project. These canvases were on Bed Bath & Beyond for over $300, but we're gonna create them today for just pennies. The first thing I wanna do is take my smaller canvases, the eight by 16, and sketch out my design. I'm gonna pull the picture up again and keep it pulled up so I can make sure I have my sketch just about right. Now here's a look at my sketch and here's the picture. This one is more of a web effect. And here's a closer look at all three of my drawings. I did complete the spiral drawing off camera and this is what it looks like. It's not quite perfect, but it will work. And here's a look at the other two. Now these pictures are laying on my bed and this is a look at them before we go to our next step. Now it's time for the next part of my project. I'm gonna use my hot glue gun along with some Dollar Tree hot glue sticks. I have some acrylic paint in white, that's from the Dollar Tree and some Rust-Oleum metallic gold paint. I also have a caulk gun with some caulk and I'll be using this on today. The first thing I'm gonna do is use my hot glue gun to fill in the single lines. Now that I have my single lines filled in with the hot glue gun, I'm gonna take my caulk gun and fill in the double lines. For the spiral, I decided to use my larger hot glue gun. This will allow me better control as I make the circular motions. Now, because my canvas is not quite square, it's more oblong, it was a little bit harder and a little bit more tricky to make this circular design. Now that I have my design all filled in, I'm going to take my white acrylic paint and paint all three of my canvases.
making sure that you paint the outside of your canvases as well. If you're out there watching and you like this kind of content, you want to make sure you subscribe to my channel. My channel is a year old and we're struggling just to get to 500 subscribers. And that means you and you. If you're watching, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're gonna finish this paint and let this first coat of paint dry before we add a second coat of white paint to the canvas. For the second coat, I decided to use some metallic pearl paint that I had. I'm gonna put that on the raised portion of the canvas. I started painting with a small artist brush and switched over to a chip brush would get which gave me faster coverage I'm gonna let the metallic pearl paint dry on the canvases and we'll come back and add our gold. The first thing I did was took my gold spray paint, sprayed squirts of it into this container. Once I had it in the container, I'm gonna use this small painter's brush and paint the gold on the painting. I found this would be the easiest way. I'm only adding the gold paint to the flat surfaces of my canvas. The raised portions, I left the metallic pearl paint. If you notice, I'm leaving the raised portion of the painting white, and I'm also bringing that paint, the gold paint, all along the sides of the painting. And here's a peek at what it's looking like. I'm gonna finish adding the last bit of paint to my painting. I'll add picture hangers and we'll be ready for the reveal. And here are all three of my canvases complete. Here I have them hanging on the wall in my family room. No, they're not even because I didn't wanna make more holes on my wall, but just an idea of what they look like. And here's a look at my canvases close to the inspiration piece. Now I know my spiral is not circular, but it was freehand. 
And here they are on another wall. Again, not quite even. I just put them on the picture hangers that were there. As I look closer at the inspiration piece, I saw that the raised area was in gold and not in white. So guess what I did? I took out my brush and I went back to the smaller pieces and I made the gold the raised portion and the white the flatter portions. And this looked more like the inspiration piece. And here you can see I have another positioning on the wall. Let me know, do you like the white raised or do you like the gold raised? And once again, here's my inspiration piece. And I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If so, you know what to do. You want to hit that subscribe button. You want to make sure you share this video with your friends and your family. Also, make sure you remember the notification bell so you will be aware of all my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.